Hello, water signs. This is your January 2019 reading. Uh, I have already pre-drawn and pre-shuffled some cards for you. Just want to um, let you know that I did a giveaway for New Year's and no one participated. And all you had to do was um, like, subscribe, and comment your sun sign and you could have won a free reading. So I will be doing another giveaway for Valentine's Day. So let's jump right in. I will rearrange and clarify as need be for my water signs, okay? So first card I have is Ten of Earth. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. The Emperor, organization and logic, structure and discipline, leadership. Nine of Earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. The Empress, lavish abundance, give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. Queen of Air, this is an independent, experienced, with realistic, and witty individual. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. The Chariot, number seven, an important achievement, self-discipline, and willpower, public recognition. Seven of Fire, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Balance, number 14, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. And I have zero, the dreamer, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected uh, opportunities. All right, water sign. So there's a lot of things going on here. I feel that um, a lot of you have been... Um, making moves financial wise with this nine and ten of earth that's right there together okay you've been making moves financial moves to put yourself in a more uh, positive financial situation then i have both the emperor and the empress very rarely do i ever see these two cards come together in a reading and this is just beautiful to me um the emperor represents logic you could be dealing with an aries or a taurus water signs um, but this is either representing a very strong um, mature person or this is your energy that you're taking on very structured and disciplined and um, a leadership position lavish abundance with this empress card give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others so um, because this nine of earth is saying successful self-employed successful self-employment and give birth to your dreams. I feel that a lot of you are starting your own businesses. Okay. A lot of you are starting your own businesses. And it is based upon things that you have always wanted to do. So bravo water signs. Okay. Um, leap of faith. Um, so some of you, you've already made that forward movement. Okay. Stand your ground for the choices that you've already made. Stand your ground no matter what anybody says, no matter how negative they are, no matter what things they have to say against what you're doing. I want you to stand your ground, those who have already made your decisions. But some of you, you have not quite reached that step just yet. Some of my water signs, you're in this chariot situation here to where um, self-discipline and willpower, clearing away um, all that no longer serves you wait for perfect timing a leap of faith some of you are waiting to make that step so a lot of you water signs have already made that step into what you need to do um, personal possibly but I see that most of it is going to be career wise those movements that you made that forward movement that you made when you step into stand your ground I don't care what no one says because you know what anyone that has anything negative to say they're going to be negative about it because they themselves don't have the confidence within themselves to take that step so don't let allow them to take your joy okay and for the rest of you who have not quite made that decision yet Clear those people out that have no that no longer serve you. Self discipline, okay, and a leap of faith is what I'm seeing here. I do not feel that I need to clarify any of that. That pretty much to me is very self explanatory. So I will go over into the love cards that I have here. 
I have some love romance. Angel cards that I pull. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning. And then I have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay, so water signs, what I feel here is that this relationship that you need to give a chance is a very new energy. And this reconciliation from your past is where the codependency comes from. I feel that the person from your past, um, you may feel codependent upon. They may feel codependent upon you where you feel that you cannot move or live or breathe without one another. So I want to confirm the codependency card. I have the Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Okay, Pentacle energy. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, this is a very slow moving energy. This is a very certain energy, but it takes some time. Six of Pentacles that is... You see here, there's some scales. There's a balance. There's a give and take here with this codependency. You too, this codependency, because it does say addictions, I don't feel this addictions as far as you all like being addicted to drugs or anything. I feel that the two of you are codependent upon each other. This reconciliation, this person from your past, you're codependent upon one another. You need one another, okay, to balance each other out. And this three of cups. Um, there's a celebration that's coming forward once you all reconcile and you move forward with one another. Um, it's going to be a happy time. So I don't feel that the codependency card is in a negative. OK, a lot of people would view that codependency card as a negative energy. But in this situation, I really don't. So let's clarify the give your relationship a chance, the current person that you are dealing with, because I do feel that there are two energies here. Some of you, um, someone is coming into your life, reappearing into your life and someone has um, re, um, brand new has surfaced. I have the hermit. Some of you water signs could be dealing with the Virgo. OK, I have the strength card. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. And I have the Eight of Swords, the illusion of feeling trapped. I feel that you all need to make a choice. I feel that there are several energies here because I do see the Earth energy and this Hermit did show up. Virgo is Earth energy also. So the person from your past could be a Virgo. It could be a, a different Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn, whatever. I mean, it, it's not really sign specific. It's just the energy that it's taking on. But I do feel that there are two energies here. There is a person that you have um, a, a current feeling for and a current endearment for. And also a person that's from your past that you feel that um, balances you out. This eight of swords, this illusion of feeling trapped. You just need to make a choice, okay? You need to be strong and look within yourself with this hermit card. This um, hermit, it could be a Virgo, but it also could just represent you needing to look within yourself and not listen to what everyone else has to say. Forget what the past partner has to say. Forget what the current partner has to say. Forget what all your family and friends have to say about this situation. You just need to look within yourself, okay, and have and rely on your own strength and your own knowledge, okay, and, and get away from this sphere. You see these swords, she's tied up, and she's thinking these swords are hitting her. They ain't even know we're touching her. Everything that is around her is basically in her mind. 